All right, so Google's Pixel 7 and the 7 Pro are two of the newest Android phones on the market right now. And if you manage to get your hands on one, then congrats on your purchase. Now, if you're new to Google Pixel phones, then you might be looking for some ways to get the most out of your smartphone beyond the usual set of apps that you use it for. With that said, we put together a list of things that you should check out on your Pixel 7 to make the most out of its many features. Let's get started. Pixel phones are known for getting regular software and security updates, which usually arrive within the first week of each month. With that said, you're going to want to keep your Pixel 7 updated and you can easily check for an update by heading into settings, going to system, system update, and check for update. This way, you can make sure that you can get the latest Pixel feature drops as well as security patches for your device. If you tend to change your wallpapers very often, the Pixel 7 offers a quick way to do this. Simply go to your home screen, tap and hold in an empty space, and you should see the wallpaper and style menu where you'll find your most recent wallpapers displayed in thumbnail format. A quick tap on these will let you swap your wallpapers easily. If you're in the mood for a darker interface on your phone, you can set it to stay in dark mode. Head to your home screen, tap and hold in an empty space again, and go into wallpaper and style to access the dark theme switch so your entire phone will display a darker background whenever you're using it. You can also do this by swiping down from the top of your screen to access the dark mode toggle. Now, if there are apps or settings that you want to search for instantly, you can quickly look for them by using the search bar on your Pixel 7. From your home screen, swipe up to open your app drawer and tap on the search bar where you can then enter your search term. This can be anything from an app to certain settings and options, and in case the item is not available on your phone, it will give you the option to search online via Google or the Play Store. One of the best features of Android that's also available on the Pixel 7 is the Google Assistant app, which is a convenient tool for setting appointments and even basic internet searches. You'll have to download it from the Play Store to set it up, and once it's on your phone, you can activate it by tapping on the Assistant icon on the home screen or simply saying, Hey Google. Google's Pixel phones come with assistant voice typing, which is faster and more accurate than the usual voice typing tool in most Android phones. You can easily access this on your Pixel by typing in an empty text field and tapping on the microphone icon in the right hand corner of your keyboard, which should then light up to let you know that it's ready to transcribe your speech into text. With the Pixel 7, you can also choose your navigation input between buttons and gestures, which means less tapping and more swiping on your phone's display. Simply head into settings, go to system, head on to gestures, and then system navigation to choose between buttons and gestures. In addition to this, the Pixel 7 also lets you open apps or perform specific actions with its quick tap feature. To use this, go into your settings, system, gestures, and head into quick tap to start actions, which will let you select a certain app or action when tapping the back of your phone. Now, usually most Android phones will require you to press a combination of buttons to take a screenshot. With the Pixel 7 though, you can easily take a screenshot by swiping up or tapping the multitask button to access the multitask menu and then tapping on screenshot to save a snap of whatever app you're currently using. While we all use our smartphones for communication, there are times when you might want to take a break from the constant beeping and buzzing from apps and notifications, in which case you'll want to activate the Pixel 7's Do Not Disturb feature. You can quickly do this by swiping from the top of your screen and tap on Do Not Disturb to silence all incoming calls and notifications. Holding on the button will give you more options to program schedules and such. Now if your battery is in a pinch but you don't have access to a charger, you can try out Extreme Battery Saver to conserve your remaining power. Open your settings app, go to battery, followed by battery saver, and then Extreme Battery Saver, which will then allow your phone to use a handful of essential apps, cutting down on battery drain. Another way to save on battery life is to change your Pixel's refresh rate. To do this, simply go into settings, display, smooth display where you'll find an option to turn off the 90Hz refresh rate. Keep in mind though that turning this off will result in a less smooth looking scrolling motion when using your phone. Now in terms of security, you can keep your Pixel 7 safe by using your fingerprint which can be easily registered in your phone's settings menu. Simply go to settings, security, face and fingerprint unlock, and go to fingerprint unlock to activate the fingerprint registration process. You can save a total of 5 fingerprints which makes things a bit more convenient when handling your phone. Now with that said, if you want a slightly faster way to unlock your phone, you can also use Face Unlock to open your Pixel 7. Head over to Settings, Security, Face and Fingerprint Unlock, and select Face Unlock to set up your face model for your phone. Do take note though that you can only save one face model, and unlike iPhones, Face Unlock on the Pixel 7 is limited to only unlocking your phone. 
Now with Android 13 on the Pixel 7, there's an option to set certain apps to a specific language, which should be handy for multilingual users. You can open this by going into Settings, heading into System, Language and Input, and App Languages, and then you can select the specific apps that you'd like to use with a different language. You can also change the way that the lock screen looks on your Pixel 7 by heading into your Settings app, going to Display, Lock Screen, and Double Line Clock to change the appearance of your clock on the lock screen. For Smart Home Controls, you can also head to Settings, Display, Lock Screen, and Control from Lock Device to gain access to your smart devices without fully unlocking your phone. The Pixel 7 takes great photos, but in case someone accidentally or purposely photobombs your picture, you can always erase them thanks to the Magic Eraser tool. Simply tap on your picture in the Photos app, go to Edit, Tools, and then Magic Eraser, and you should then see Suggestions with an option to erase any and all photobombers. You can also select your own specific targets to erase, which also works on non-human subjects. Another cool feature that you can use with the Pixel 7 is Google Lens, which lets you use photos to search for information online. Simply open your camera app, head to Modes, and then Lens to use the shutter button to take photos and activate the search feature. A new feature that Google has introduced with the Pixel 7 series is Cinematic Mode, which adds a background blur effect and 24 frame capture for videos. Simply go into your camera and select Cinematic to access this video feature. Finally, Android 13 does come with a new Easter egg animation that you can view on the Pixel 7. Simply go into Settings, go to About Phone, and then Android Version, and then tap on the Android version number several times until a clock appears on your screen. If you set the hands to 1pm, you'll be presented with a pleasant little animation sequence, and you can even tap on the icons to change their appearance. Now we hope that these quick tips were able to help you set up your phone and explore its features. And if you guys have some more tips that you want to share, then let us know in the comments down below. Now if you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe and check out our other content here on Fandroid. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one.